When we had last left the Spacefarer, they arrived back at Gagarin Landing, where they were to investigate the Need to talk to Dr. surrounding now, mysteries around Barrett's former husband, Irvin, who had gone missing, or who had been, who had died, honestly, <laughs> uh, on Gagarin at the mining, at some sort of mining shaft where some sort of corporate malfeasance was seemingly at the root of it enlisting the help of local lawyer Ellie Yankton they were able to begin mounting a case against Hephaestus but first they would need to gather even more evidence and perhaps travel out to the mining shaft itself this is Starfield welcome back zoop 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 there we go now uh, a bit of a shorter one this time because, hey, uh, this is being recorded and it probably won't go out on, but this is being recorded on Christmas Day or at least Christmas night. Uh, I was busy for, <laughs> for the day and morning, but Christmas night or the day after, <laughs> right? Like, like I said, may not actually go out around that time, but hey, because of uh, holiday and whatnot, a uh, bit of a shorter one this time. I think you, you understand where I'm coming from. Anyway, anyway, let us head on over to the mine here. Good. Let's see here. Show on map. Good. There we are over here. And let's just travel there, huh? You know, so far we have not had a situation where, like, a mine or whatever, or any facility has been overrun by creatures. The only time it was Careful. a scripted location this place was shuttered 20 for years part ago. of the UC. But it might have new tenants now. Jesus, I feel like we should be wearing protective stuff in this kind of weather, <laughs> right? Like, I know it's not as intense as some of the other shit we've been through, Barrett. But we ain't fucking got, like, raincoats or umbrellas or anything like that. We do have spacesuits, and I feel like we should be wearing them right about now. We got some winged sea bats as well. Shit, should we go into the ship and, uh, rest up a little bit? Get that bonus XP going? I feel like maybe we should. Let's go do that real fast. Oh. The look of this. Okay. Let's see, let's do a quick boarding maneuver here. Hey, Sarah. Important or not, I'm ready to listen. Thank you. But, need not worry about that. Oh, good, you're up. Hey there. Need Glad to see you again. You okay, go? let's pop this. Good. And should we have some of the tea? What if it's actually being operated at, right? It's not abandoned at all. That is a distinct possibility. Alien T. There we go. Adult pest. Oh shit, it is actually ah, overrun. We can okay. Oh, look at them. What the fuck are they? Ugh. Fucking Langoliers looking motherfuckers. Gosh, they look horrifying. Okay. These are just called pests? Jeez, they look they look worse than something that I would just call a pest. There we are. Man, people got fucked up out here, Jesus. Advanced lot Ooh! Gone. Well, we have other things to do anyway. Okay, should we pick into here? Or wait until we go through the main facility? Fuck it, let's pick. Okay, let's see. What do we need to do here? About something like that. Good. And then we can do. Oh, shit. Okay, undo. <gasps> Fucking A. Okay. 
Let's do one of these, and then like this. Perfect. And then we could always... Hit up one of them. There we go. That didn't take long at all. Europium. Okay, I'll take it. Heavy particle fuse, coffee bags. I still can't just make coffee, though. Creature jam. Hell yeah, I'm eating it. At least I don't think I can make coffee yet. Light particle fuse, a refined nova light. Meh. It has no affix. Thank goodness, some digipix. Starfield really needs its own Shady Sam. Do you know what I'm saying? We can just pick up a bunch of digipooks at one place. Okay. Tracker's Alliance hat. Gastronomic Delight, a unique organic resource. What? Okay, I'm taking it. Furious Scouts Refined Nova Light. Huh. I mean, I should definitely take it. It's worth it just for the... Like, sell value. Yeah. Professionals Novalite may also be worth taking. For the same reason. Okay, anything else good here? Minor jumpsuit. Makes sense. Okay. Sure. Good. Sounds like there's another fucking creature out here. Or is it a flying creature? Yeah, we're good. Oh shit. My god, Barry, you're good. Holy fuck, dude. That was not me. Should we take the quark degenerate tissue? I feel like we ought to. Ugh, look at him. Can you actually move corpses in this? Yeah, you can. Ugh, look at them flopping all over the place. It's like those fucking creatures from Dead Space that latch onto people and make them, like, unkillable dudes or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> look at that shit. Okay. Anything in here? A little bit of money? Just a smidgen of money? Okay. Had to be done. this way before we head into the main area. There's a cot out here. Alright. Can we search this? No. Nice. Nothing there. Okay, let's head on up. stuff intact when they shuttered this place. I wonder if they were in a hurry or if it was just cheaper to replace it. There we go. Got the crit. Uh, right in the leg. Ah, come on. Man, these things are fucking high level. Encore. There we go. Fuck off. Alright. Jeez, and Pete. They're actually kind of tough. Alright. Pop this open. I don't hear any more scuttling around, so maybe we took care of them all. Minor hard hat outfit? Meh. Soap dispenser. Oh. First aid. Frost Wolf and Trauma Pack. Miner's Journal. Okay, here we go. The foreman and geologists say that we're continuing the dig. They say it's the best way to honor those lost in the collapse. What a load of crap. If they actually cared about them, we would be packing up right now and calling it quits. Hell, I might just do that myself. I don't want to die in this hellhole. I'm guessing we're going to go pretty deep here. Whoa, look at this. Like a root tree body person. Parsec pooch. A 
couple digi picks, minor jumpsuit there. All right, let's roll. Pop these. Anything? Plunger. Neralco. Okay. Some slippers actually underneath here. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Jesus, they did this? The little creatures? Oh, an alien sandwich. And a guaranteed cutter. I wonder if we're going to need it. Got some more creds. Various bits of food. Comms building key. Oh. Uh, that's fun. I place it right there. You can see the comms building. Some orange juice. Ugh, that sounded like a painful slurp. <laughs> right? That slurp that we took there, that OJ. Holy shit. It was like... <laughs> Not even that. It was a lot... It was a lot sharper and harsher. It's like, uh, you're, you're drinking, you're not paying too much- God, I think I just took a fucking succulent. But it's like you're drinking and you're not paying too much attention to you drinking. And you accidentally take too big of a, a gulp of whatever you're drinking. And you try and gulp it down at a smaller size. You know what I'm saying? Do, do, do you know what I mean? And it almost feels- it's almost like you've accidentally eaten, like, a potato chip or crisp, whichever you prefer, and without like properly chewing it all the way, right? Like you're just, you've zoned out, you're like watching something or whatever, you're just munching on chips, right? And you get, the, you get that feeling that like goes through your throat, like, God, am I gonna clog my airways? It's like that, except with a liquid. Ugh. Look at this, I got a coffee ring here. Oh shit. Dun, 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 <laughs> fuck. I can never fucking nail the Starfield chime. <laughs> the problem is, is, is it's so fucking close to the Fallout one. Fucking A. Okay. Anything else over here? I'll just drink these, fuck it. I'm a wild ass dude. I'm just gonna eat all their weird shit. Pizza squares. Everything. All right, with this, there we go. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Eat it off the fucking floor. Guess I'll take the coffee. Sparkling water. We can actually use that for crafting, I think. Loads more coffee. Okay. Good. All right. What have we got in here? Anything? This looks promising. This looks like administration. Company records? Hmm. Bingo! Oh, this is the comms building. Okay. If I just mining computer. Mine H-363. Mine status... Decommissioned on 901-2309. Approved Hephaestus. Employees. Hawks and Hell Guy. Contract long term. Hired 2305. Assignment. Conducting an environmental impact study, which is incorporated in several upcoming land acquisition bids in 2310. Workstation Cavern Central Chamber. And Irvin Madani. Hired 2309. Short term contract. Assignment, terminate local predator. Assist Dr. Hellguy with environmental Im impact study. Workstation, location, cavern lab. You don't think we're actually going to find their body, huh? Memos. Oh, fuck. There are a lot. Okay. Let's go backward and move up in time. Mine commissioned. Mine H-363 has been commissioned for the standard two-year contract, or until the extraction is complete. Welcome, Dr. Hawkson. Dr. Helgai Hawkson has been assigned to the current active Hephaestus Mines to evaluate the situation with the subsurface bacteria. He has full authority to conduct any experiments needed. Extraction Phase 2 Exactly on time. Six months to Phase 2. 
We have penetrated the subsurface layers of slime and biomass below the top layers of materials and have full local access. Gases are escaping through the bacterial layers at a rate higher than previous mines in this biome, but that has assisted in reducing the amount of biomass. Dr. Hawkson is investigating. Dead wildlife. Uh, 1 15 2309. The crew found a flock of dead creatures around the entrance to the mine today. They seem diseased or starved, but we don't know why they came to the mine. Volatile gases update. 02 10 2309. The volatile gases that were previously requiring special protective gear have plummeted below critical levels for the fourth straight week as is the trend with mines after the first year of operation. Security. Less than a month later. Mine H-363 sent for security today. When one of those local predators arrived to feast on the collection of dead carcasses, they kept them there for that long? Oh my god. Alright, I mean, I guess, yeah, sure, if you're miners, you call for someone else to do it, right? Like... Time spent dealing with carcasses is time you're not digging. We have started to burn their corpses in the hopes that it will go away. Jesus, speaking of dead space, what the fuck? Okay. Odd predator behavior. Large predators have been circling the mine and attacking each other. Purpose is unclear. They are very violent and security from Gagarin settlement is unprepared for this. So they left. We sent for further assistance. This could disrupt extraction. Wow, they just straight up left. Okay. Welcome, Irvin Madani. Hephaestus has hired Irvin Madani to kill one of the main predators that hasn't left the area for weeks. He will assist Dr. Helgai Hoaxen, who is studying the strange predator behavior. Predators are dead. Irvin Madani was able to kill the largest of the predators. Currently, no wildlife is at the mine anymore. Unrelatedly, the volatile gases from the extraction point are now fully depleted. This did not happen at the previous mines. What if it's related somehow? No. How could it be related? First year. Year one is complete. We are now at full production. Site is expected to fully to be fully depleted far ahead of schedule due to the removed complication of volatile gases. New estimated depletion date, 1-25-2309. Yeah, what if the predators were there being diseased or whatever because they were somehow consuming the gases or whatever the fuck? Irvin's contract is over. Irvin's contract is over and no more predators or any wildlife have been found at the mine. It's a miracle. Dr. Hoaxon quit. Hellguy unexpectedly quit today, citing ethics violation on a planetary scale. Decommissioned. Hephaestus ordered the immediate closure of this mine and all others in the area, even though we are at a peak extraction and even though we are at peak extraction and efficiency. Mine will be sealed in the standard fashion. All equipment unrelated to extraction is to be left behind. The mine has been decommissioned. Yeah, they probably use some form of new volatile gas clearing situation because it was they even remarked yeah this happens in pretty much every mine right that there are some type of volatile gas to contend with and because it cleared out so quickly they probably used some new weird method for clearing out the gases that caused um a disturbance with the local wildlife and just like local ecology that was super fucked up, and that's why all the predators and shit were there, all the carcasses and stuff, and they were dying and getting sick themselves. Um, maybe the people were also getting poisoned, and that is how Irvin died, actually. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Now let's go find Irvin in Helgi's lab stations. Helgi. Okay. Let's pop open all these other doors before we head deeper. Another Tesla pylon. You know what? I really need to bind that. I want to see how it works. It sounds fun. Okay. Anything else here? Bunch of explosives. Uh... 
Ugh. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, there's a bunch of shit you can blow up. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that, that also was blow upable. Antibiotics, another cutter. Does this go outside? It does. Okay. Tech. Axe your energy. Holy shit. So some type of energy pylon? I don't I don't even know. It doesn't look like solar or anything like that or wind. Okay. Crispy alien nuggets. No, they don't need it now. There's a big ass shaft. Okay. So then what's this go to? Oh, just a side room. Got some extra goodies. A little bit of ammo. Just a magstorm ad just on the fucking wall of your business. <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? An assassin's refined shoddy. Hmm. It's pretty valuable. I'm taking it. Yeah, look at this. They just had ads in here. Is this who they were extracting the ore for, ultimately? I mean, I know it was Hephaestus, but... Is this who they were giving it to? I wonder. That side stir has actually got pretty good value to weight ratio. All right, let's check the computer here. Foreman's log. We're still recovering from the collapse. The full death toll is unknown at the moment, but we currently but currently there are 13 confirmed dead. I will be consulting with the head geologist about how best to move forward from this unfortunate incident. Foreman's log 2. While drilling, we seem to have stumbled upon a nest of some sort. We aren't certain of the species of creature it belonged to, but it seems to be deserted now. We will continue drilling once we know for certain the nest has been abandoned. Hmm. New creature. New type of creature just fucking dropped. Maybe it's a gas-sucking creature. A volatile gas-sucking up creature that they introduced to the habitat, and that's the planetary scale issue. They just introduced a new fucking type of creature that sucks on gas. Okay. Search for evidence. Jesus. How far down did we go? Sounds like another one of them creeping around. Some iron here. We do actually need iron, but we need a lot more than that. Fuck it, I'll take it. Ooh. Weird kind of fucking egg. I think we picked one of these things up. Can I shoot it? can, but it doesn't, like, explode. Got some picks. Graviplaz helmet. Food, sort of Damocles. Okay. Passageway down. Let's scour the other side of this room before we head out of it. More coffee bags. Fuck it, I'll take them. It may end up being a good thing that we have so many coffee bags for crafting when we are able to eventually craft that stuff. Okay, nothing much else. How about over 
here. Combat Tech Catalog 4. Further increases the range and accuracy of combat tech weapons. Okay. A vial of teeth or little hands. Some nickel. Okay. Sure. Oh, let's take a peek. Irvin Madani's computer. Hmm. Do one of these. Good. Okay. Lovely. Mine H-363, Irvin Madani, visiting expert in xenobiology. Account is deactivated. Archive memos. Experiment results. 912309. Irvin, they're not going to like what I have to say. Dr. Helgi Hoekson. Apex Predators. A month prior. Irvin, I've included your analysis in my papers, which I've sent to the main office. Thank you for helping me collect and analyze the data. I sincerely hope this makes a difference. Dr. Helgi Hoekson. Sent. Poisoned Planet. 8-15-2309. Dr. Hoekson, the data tells a troubling story. Could the microbial colony network be poisoned by the chemicals from these mines? Could this cause a global collapse? Irvin Madani. Oh. Chemicals from these mines. Hmm. Okay. It was the destruction of the bacterial colonies, not the apex predators. So, they ruined the ecosystem here, and it had nothing to do with Irvin. Irvin was just a cover. This is it. This is what Ellie needs to see. Yeah, they hired Irvin when they knew that they had already fucked up, it seems. Okay. Foreman's Journal. Foreman Noel Schulman. So far, yield has been stellar. The veins are tapping, we are tapping, continue to produce impressive quantities of nickel and aluminum, as well as other ores. What's better is that the well shows no signs of drying up. Yield has only increased the deeper we dig. Oh no. They're going to dig too deep, huh? <laughs> I mean, I guess in a way. Oh man, refined regulator. High value. Okay. Getting a little encumbered. Let's check the computer here. Head geologist log 01. Alright. I've spoken with Foreman Schulman regarding the unfortunate collapse that occurred. He was recommending that we evacuate the rest of the mine in case of a total cave-in. To assuage his fears, I scanned the surrounding areas of the mine in an effort to prove its stability. What I found was quite encouraging. Continued drilling should pose no danger of a collapse. Although the veins we have been mining for some time are currently trapped beyond the collapsed area, I believe that there's a solution. We can dig around the collapse and circle our way back to those veins. I'm confident this course of action will be satisfactory for Mr. Schulman. Huh. Okay. Barrett, where are you? I need to give you some of these weapons we've been looting. The evidence we've found so far is compelling. But let's cross-reference it with the other terminals just to be sure. Right. Let's see if I have space for that. Okay. There we go. You take these. Good. Okay, that'll do. Hmm, okay. Let's keep looking around. Where's this other creature at? I can hear it. Let's see, maybe I can sense it. Ooh, there they are. Okay, they're about to come right through here. 
Oh, fuck. It really does not go far. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, let's jump on down here. Maybe we can get our pylon Lights back. Are on down here at least. That's good. Okay. Come on, you fucker. There we go. Nice. Well, it's not that good. Looks kind of neat, though. Isn't there a weapon that we can have that can shoot those out and deploy them? Hmm. Weird plants around here. These are plants? Fucking Barrett, I thought you were a scientist. These really do not seem like plants to me. Okay. So it's the gases. The... <laughs> or the, the microbial whatever the fuck. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's eliminate. And then... Try our hand at some of this. Good. Right, and then... There we are. That wasn't so bad. And click, you got it. Are these eggs... Like... Particular to this quest? Because we have found one of them before. I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, don't I have it, like, on me or on the ship? Must be on the ship. Okay. Fair enough. Not much really in this room, though. Okay. Got some drugs back there. I'll take them. Yeah, just some crafting junk here and there. Nothing particularly rare, though. All right. A whole bunch more here. Nothing there. Okay, what's in here? Refined deep recon space helmet. No, thank you. Got some ammo. Oh, shit. Various explosives, I'll take them. Okay, just a power room. Oh, there's healing and drug on the wall. All right, good. Ham there as well. Can we circle back around to this, or is it, like, on the other side? Okay, I think it's on the other side. Alright, well, unfortunately, like I said, gotta be a bit of a shorter one this time. Uh, when next we come back, we will continue going through the mining shaft. Uh, I'm sure there will be more of these hideous creatures. And maybe we'll uncover something about them related to these weird eggs. I don't know. But, uh, they are disgusting. <laughs> Until next time, please, take care of each other.